Hi, I'm Rob from Projector Central and this is our video review of the Optima GT1090 HDR laser projector. So Projector Central recently reviewed the LG HU810, which is the first affordable 4K laser projector we've seen for serious home theater. It costs $3,000. But Optima's GT1090 HDR, which we reviewed last fall, is the first budget laser home theater projector we've seen that's worth considering. It's a 1080p model designed from the ground up for gaming, and it delivers enough brightness for viewing in ambient light. At $1,399, it trades off a 4K imaging chip in favor of a laser light source that never needs maintenance or lamp replacements. Let's take a closer look. The GT1090 is a compact and lightweight projector with a short throw lens that I'll say more about in a moment. There's a control pad on top in case the remote's not handy. Around back is a jack pack that would allow this projector to function in a lot of classrooms or conference rooms. There are a pair of HDMI ports, including one that accepts 4K HDR for a display at the projector's native 1080p resolution. You'll also find a VGA in and out and an RCA composite video input for legacy components. A LAN port is there for network control and there's an RS-232 port and a 12-volt trigger out. The three analog audio inputs include one for a microphone and there's an analog audio output. A 3D sync output is on board for an external RF 3D emitter, but you don't need one if you use DLP link glasses. Now, despite all these connections, there are two key things that are missing. First, there's no digital audio output or audio return channel on the HDMI ports, so your only options for sound are the analog stereo output or the pair of internal speakers. They're driven by 10 watts each of power and get loud enough to serve a small family room, but they sound pretty thin and can't replace an outboard system for home theater. Also, the USB port is strictly for 5 volt power to a streaming dongle or other accessory. It won't function as a USB input for playing media from a flash drive. Now the short throw lens on the GT1090 is pretty darn short. It's got a 0.5 to 1 throw ratio and projects a 100 inch image from just 3 feet 8 inches away. That makes this the perfect projector to pull out of the closet and plop on a coffee table, though it also supports a ceiling mount or rear projection. You can check out our throw calculator from the link below to see the throw for your preferred image size. Also, there is no optical zoom or lens shift, only digital zoom, lens shift, and keystone correction. So to retain full image quality for a permanent installation, try to place the projector where you can avoid those controls. For temporary setups, keystone correction is automatic, and the manual lens shift lever has a nice sure feel to it. Optimus DuraCore laser light engine is rated for 4200 ANSI lumens, and it uses a sealed no-maintenance design with an IPX5 rating for dust resistance. It's rated for 20,000 hours of use in the normal power mode, and up to 30,000 hours in eco. A nice benefit is rapid startup, which is less than 30 seconds to the image from a live connected source, and it turns off instantly. This version of the DuraCore engine uses a single blue laser with a phosphor wheel and a four-segment RGBY color wheel. It handles both HDR10 and HLG, but without the wide gamut of some 4K projectors. Optimus remote is a full-size wand. It's helpful that there are three keys that can be programmed for direct menu access to a variety of functions, though I was disappointed that the frequently used HDR dynamic range setting wasn't one of them. The remote is backlit, and I mean lit. It starts out in torch mode before fading out. There's a built-in laser pointer that most folks won't use, but it makes an awesome cat toy. Now since this projector is pitched mainly for gaming, I'm going to discuss that before we get to its home theater performance. But first, I'd like to talk about the screen we're using for today's video. It's a 110 inch version of Elite Screen's Cinewhite UHDB Matte White reference material. This screen has been certified by the respected Imaging Science Foundation for accurate color points, dynamic range, and color temperature. And at less than $400 for this 110 incher, including Elite's thin bezel Aeon frame, it's a great option for mating with budget projectors like this one. The Cinewhite UHDB has a 1.3 gain, which gives a little extra boost in brightness for ambient light viewing or darkroom HDR compared with Elite's classic Cinewhite 1.1 gain material. Our thanks to Elite for supplying the screen and helping to sponsor this video. 
Getting back to the GT1090 HDR, two things make it a good gaming projector. One is the bright laser light source that permits viewing in moderate to bright light. But there's also an enhanced gaming setting that can be activated with any picture mode. With it turned on, we measured a fast 16.2 milliseconds for input lag with 1080p 60Hz signals. That's low enough to present no detectable delay for the vast majority of gamers. The projector even handles 1080p at 120Hz, though our lag meter can't test at that frame rate. Our reviewer John Higgins said controller response time was very quick. You can read his full comments at Projector Central using the link in the description. Now if you're thinking about the GT1090 mainly for gaming, the nice plus here is that it also turned out to be a pretty good home theater projector for either darkroom or ambient light viewing. For darkroom home theater with 1080p standard dynamic range, such as Blu-rays or stream content, the cinema picture mode was the best looking out of the box. It didn't measure perfectly, but it tuned up nicely with instruments. Our final calibrated settings are available in the review at Projector Central. Besides having mostly accurate color, the focus was surprisingly good across the whole screen. That was true even out at the top corners where short throw lenses tend to stretch out the image. And the projector's dynamic black feature adjusted the laser output to deliver decent contrast on darker material. In moderate light, images on the Cinewhite screen lost some depth of black, but they were still watchable. And at no time did I see any obvious laser speckle, which can be more noticeable on some laser projectors. The GT1090 recognizes HDR signals and automatically shifts into its HDR mode. HDR actually looked surprisingly good to my eye, which isn't always the case with 1080p projectors that accept 4K HDR. The image was really punchy, colors looked nicely saturated and engaging, and the picture had pretty solid contrast, especially with the dynamic black power mode turned on. The four position HDR dynamic range control offers some adjustability for different programs, but unlike some other Optima HDR projectors I've seen, there wasn't much difference among the settings. Still, good HDR transfers were really a pleasure to watch. Now, I wasn't able to capture moving 3D images on camera through my DLP Link glasses, but I can report that the GT1090 HDR also performed pretty well with 1080p full 3D movies. 3D benefited from the projector's high brightness, though color had that slightly green bias that I see with a lot of DLP Link projectors, and the contrast was just so-so. But there were no issues with crosstalk or other artifacts, and overall the image was engaging. And that does it for our video review of Optima's GT1090 HDR. You can visit our full review on Projector Central, including our measurements and final calibrated settings, by clicking the link below. Thanks for watching, and as always, feel free to tap thumbs up if you liked what you saw, and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be alerted about our future videos. We'll be back soon.